Good afternoon, guys. How are you doing? I'm great. <laughs> Happy to be here. It's been, it's you been a the emotion lines. as you're galloping down the sideline. You hear the crowd cheering. You know the emotion that goes into this game, and to come out and burst onto the scene with that play right away. Just what was the emotion and that moment like for you? It was electric, and uh, you know we we've had so many prayers and so much support, and. Uh, be able to start the game off like that, it's, it's amazing. I even talked to family and friends, and I just said, look, we're going to be ready today. Our boys are going to play spirited. And uh, just being around all those guys, even though I have not been here so a long time, it even motivated me. And uh, you, you've seen, like, we have threes on. I had three on my thigh pads today. It's, it's been amazing, but all that was for him. And I'm, I'm happy for the things that happened to me, but I was spirited. I felt like he was out there with us. Were you amazed at yourself when you returned the second one for a touchdown? Yeah, you know, uh, I ha I've had two in one game in Indy, but uh, – and just punt returns, but on the on the kickoff return, I definitely was running down the sideline. I looked over and saw nobody, and I was like, "Oh wow, I might I might really be gone here." And uh, that's really just a shout out to those guys. Both kick both kickoff returns for touchdowns. I think I barely got touched. And that really just goes to show the other ten guys blocking for me. You you made the play. Josh called it spiritual for the first touchdown. At what moment? I mean, you're focused on your job. At what moment did you sense? It wasn't just a big return and a big play, or did you at any point, you know, once you got in the end zone, or what was that like? Oh, I knew, I knew, was, I knew about that way before the play even started. I knew this whole game, this whole week, even uh, Monday, I'm on CNN, I'm on local news, ESPN, everybody's talking about DeMar, and I just, you know, I just felt all the love and support. And, you know, everybody talks about family and football, but ever since I've been here, it's been about family, and the Bills Mafia is the best fan base in this NFL, so in the NFL. So, I mean, I've, it's been, it was very, very spiritual, and it was way before I ever touched the field today. But as you're running, are you thinking about what the impact this had on your teammates? I mean, they all talked about it, like what it did for them. <laughs> oh, while I was running? Yeah. Oh, while I was running. I was just trying to get there. <laughs> and then when I was getting there, I was thinking about celebrating my teammates. And, uh, you know, as soon as I crossed the goal line, I, I thought in my head, like, wow, like, this is our first time since Cincinnati. Like, there's no, there's, like, it's, I'm speechless, and I can't believe, you know, I'm so thankful it was me to, you know, bring that juice, but it, it's, it's way bigger than me, and that's what I always thought about, and that's what I felt all day. It was just bigger than me and bigger than those 10 guys that, who did a great job of blocking for me. Deion Sanders strut at the end of the second one. Uh, have you ever done that before? Or yes. That's the <laughs> I did that on my second punt return against Carolina in 2019. I guess this is, I used to wear 21. Uh, you know, I used to, prime time shawty, I used to call myself that sometimes, so, I mean, I just was very, very spiritual with that one. Shoddy. My friends used to say that about me. I used to wear 21, so I mean, you know, Jordan has it, and I probably will never get 21 again, but you know, I still can high step for, uh, you know, Dion. On that, play, on that first play, without what happened to DeMar, without thinking about DeMar, does that first play happen? Uh, I think so. Uh, you know, all year, I feel like um, <clears throat> on kick return and punt return, I feel like we've been close. I feel like I've been hitting it hard. Just been a step or two there. Uh, there have been a couple times I've slipped and fell on my guys, but uh, even uh, in the meeting, it's been hashtag free Hines. And, you know, ever since I got here, this transition has not been the easiest. But ever since I got there, those guys out there blocking on me, for, blocking for me on kick return and punt return have had my back. And uh, I felt spir I've felt spirited since I've been here because I know there's 10 guys out there who believe in me. So I think uh, I think this punt return, well, the kick return, I think it was long overdue. And I feel like all the guys out there would say the same. Do you think that shattered the tension this community has been feeling all week? I hope so. Um, you know, I, you know, in Cincinnati, you know, we learned that, you know, football, you know, a lot of us, you know, we say football is life, but there's so many things that are bigger than that. And, you know, it's just a game. So I'm hoping that, you know, just within this game, it brought life to a lot more than just myself in this community, but just everybody else in this world. Naheem, were you surprised that they kicked it to you after the first one? <laughs> I was surprised. I was surprised uh, after the first one when they kicked it to me, but the second one, I knew they were going to kick it to me. So I mean, it's just uh, it happened. I mean, I, I returned two for a touchdown in in Indy, and they kicked it to me again. So I was hoping I got another chance. I was hoping I was going to get another opportunity after that. Did you kind of get a chuckle though when they kicked one out of bounds? <laughs> gave me ball at the forty yard line. <laughs> uh, you know, it was great. You know, my job is you know I feel I take a lot of pride as a punt returner, kick returning, and flipping field position or giving the team great field position. So uh, that was just, for me. I, I chuckled a little bit, but I think it, I just did my job and you know secure great field position. Did you see it? Did already going tell you that Demar was tweeting about your place? No, I didn't know till after. But uh, I actually just saw them and uh, you know big shout out to Demar. Uh, you know, it's an, even him, he's been one of the guys who've been most vocal about, you know, telling me free Hines. He told me that every game. So uh, the fact that we could do that while he, you know, in his, in his absence, it's, 
honestly, you can't really make this up. This is, is wow. That was one of his tweets, Freehind. See, we don't say it every day. Look, we don't say it every day in meetings for no reason. I'm glad it came true. Team sport, obviously, for what you could have done today for DeMar, those two kick, kickoffs return for touchdowns, do you think you did everything you could for him today? I hope so. And uh, if I did not, I'll keep going until I, I've done it. But I hope I have done that. And we got to win, so I think we, as a community, I feel like we needed this win. I feel like my brothers in that locker room, we needed just, you know, some great energy and some great vibes, and like, we had to win this. And even his dad said that. He said, like, that's what DeMar wanted us. They would want us to push forward and to win against New England. Would you have scripted it any differently? Would you have scripted it any differently? Who, for me? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, today, absolutely not. I mean, I, I don't know how many times two, two kick returns and – a game ever happened. So, uh, you know, I'm just thankful. Uh, God blessed me today. And, you know, the other 10 guys out there, they're, they're the, really the ones who should be up here. Josh, Josh was out here a minute ago. He broke down talking about what that play meant to him, especially as the new guy in this organization. What does it mean to you to make that kind of play, to have that kind of effect? Well, uh, like I said, I have not been here that long. So, uh, you know, obviously, uh, I don't know DeMar as, as well as some other people, but I just remember what he's done for me. And uh, I remember when I was first here, as soon as I got here, I was in the tubs. He introduced himself to me. And ever since then, he's spoken to me every day. And, uh, you know, just somebody like that and just being around him for eight or nine weeks, just seeing how the whole team rallies around him. He's a very, very great guy, one of the best guys in the locker room. I, I'm honestly just honored to be able to just, you know, have, have a breath with him. You know, and I think that's just what I think about. You know, I haven't been here long, and I know that. But I was there to comfort my guys and try to be there for guys. That's what I've been trying to do this whole week. Just uh, obviously, I'm not as close with them as other people, but I know that for my 111, for my job, I can support my brothers who know them, who are hurting a lot more than I am. And just I would, what I would say is I think that uh, every person deals with grieving differently, and uh, I felt like my job was just to make sure I could support my brothers. Usually, after a win like that, you guys wrap up playoff seating. It's usually a pretty boisterous locker room. What was the team like in there? We were happy, relieved. Uh, it was... It was great, you know. We didn't, we haven't played in two weeks really, and after the incident, it was, it was tough. But I think we've done a great job, and even Coach McDermott has done a great job of understanding us. They even throughout the week, they said, "Look, if you need a minute, just we'll give you a minute." So I think just you know everybody in this organization, coaches, general manager, and player down, we've all had each other's back, and I, I've I have never seen anything like this since I've been playing football, and I love being here, and I'm so happy to be a Buffalo Bill. Where does this rank for you in most memorable? football games you've played in? Uh, I probably say it's right. It, I, you know, honestly, it's probably my favorite memory. You know, I, you know, I got traded in the middle of the year. It's been, you know, I've had a very interesting year. Just life's been up and down for me. And, uh, you know, this is a big day for me, too. You know, I've been just trying to get opportunities. You know, it's a great team, and I'm here late. So uh, I'm out there just trying to make the most of every opportunity. So I'm happy I was able to do that. And for a great team and a place I really wanted to be. Hashtag free Hans. <laughs>